having successful marriage has a secret and most of us we destroy this success even before we get into the marriage how do we do that let's get into mistakes as singles women we make before marriage the first one is expectations and this goes to both parties the expectations that we have before we even think about the idea of marriage contributes a lot any expectation that you have should be something that's let me say religious or spiritual in the first place when we put that aside the reason why i'm saying this is the intention as it is said actions are judged by intentions the intention the sincerity in you towards marriage plays a very important role in the first place so the expectation if your reason of getting married to be specific is not because it's an act of worship you will continue to make the same mistake that's what i mean so the expectation things you expect like oh i want my maybe partner to look like this i want my partner to have this i want those expectations destroy the marriage before you go into it if you go into the marriage and things you expected you don't get them what happened you feel like this is not what i want this why expectation is very important and when we put that aside we all have needs the needs to feel safe to feel protected to feel love they need to be taken care of we have all these needs and all these things are basic things that in general everybody needs them both partners everybody needs to feel love to feel care you understand so when we put that one to aside the next thing that we have to think about is wait for the right time so you don't just because oh i'm expecting this so the first the moment you see something like this with someone you feel like oh this is the person she is the one he is the one no put your expectations aside and then you have to wait for the right time don't rush rush into marriage this is what i mean by wait for the right time you don't just rush into marriage because it's a whole lifetime marriage is not like it's a contract yeah it's a contract but you should know that it's not just a short contract marriage is a long contract but if you go into it and you don't get it as you want that's where it becomes short yeah so you wait for the right timing and as you are waiting you have to seek the guidance of allah pray to allah seek his guidance on whatever decision you are going to make concerning that marriage so dua in the first place is important most people do that only when they feel desperate they feel that oh now i'm old enough i want to get married so they start praying no pray for it even when you are in your youthful age you pray for it that whenever allah wants to grant you someone he should give you someone who will be your comfort someone who will be your source of joy you should pray and seek for idols guidance on whatever decision you are going to make so these are the basic three i would say it's important to consider before you even get into the marriage and then getting married after getting married what are your needs what are the things that you want and all these things have to play a role right in the beginning even before marriage you have to make sure what are the things that i want the things that i want to achieve the things that and how the process you are going to do that is your partner willing to help you achieve that is the person trying to make you feel like i'm with you on your decision so it doesn't you don't feel like 
after marriage every decision has to come from the man yes it's true every decision or most of the decision has to come from him he is the man the final decision is for him but that doesn't mean um thinking together sharing ideas advising each other as couple doesn't pre doesn't play a role it plays a very important role but some people the moment you are married to them after marriage they feel like hope oh, i'm the boss so they begin to do whatever they want without you having the courage if you are that kind of person to fight for what you believe in to fight for what you want it creates a whole lot of problems so in the first place the person has to be someone understandable someone who is willing to be with you in this journey first of all know each other in that sense yeah for the greater cause of the marriage you have to know each other in that sense then the next thing you have to be considerate of your spouse legitimate needs be considerate what are the basic things the most important things that your your partner needs from you as men we are supposed to give them the respect and in return we are supposed to show them gratitude and they are supposed to love us but if the gratitude is not there the person does something for you and it's like it's not appreciated definitely he will lose that interest in wanting to do more and feel like oh she's ungrateful so normally that's the problem we face one has to show the respect and the gratitude and the man is his job to love and care for you that one allah has given it to him to care for you every needs and then yours is to respect him and show him gratitude so that's the the basic secret if this two basic thing is not there you feel apart you feel distance from each other and this creates problems one after the other because everyone begin to feel like my basic needs are not the basic needs you are expecting they have not and been the met. last advice is molding our dreams you don't mold your dreams before marriage which goes back to the expectations you expect things after you get into the marriage that dream kind of spouse that you have in your mind and you know those fantasies i mean you don't expect that before marriage they get into the marriage and mold each other into how you want it and it's it's just two things that will make you do this you respect the person you show gratitude to the person he will love you back and you begin to understand each other all of you want to do things that will make each other happy so in this process you mold each other into what both of you desires and you get that beautiful marriage and in all this allah should be the center point someone who's going to help you improve whatever belief you had before marriage when you get into the marriage it should increase not decrease you don't support each other to do things around to do things that you are not supposed to do in the name of you are enjoying your marriage every enjoyment as allah has ordained for us that we should know our limits not to cross our limits but in the end make each other happy by making allah the center of the marriage if i know i'm doing it for the sake of allah you know you're doing it for the sake of allah at the end of the day he is the center and when Allah is the center of your life, everything is successful for you. Assalamu alaikum.